Okay guys, today is a day I've not really been looking forward to. We are going to start EB's um, methotrexate. methotrexate. Um, they are chemo, chemo injections. April said it's easier for her if she thinks about it as vitamin we're giving her vitamin C. <laughs> not injecting oh, chemo therapy drug into our daughter. Well, the most thing I'm having anxiety about is that she's going to be like lowered immune system. I'm like, we have freaking six kids and she oh, licks her feet and crap. Like she's four. <laughs> she's going to be sick all the time in my head. Like, I hope that's not the case, but I'm really worried about it. Yeah, not fun. So what we're doing today is they called in the prescription, you know, weeks ago, but then today April picked it up and we go in and meet with a nurse and they're going to teach us how to do it. Um, how to, and I'm, I call not doing it first. So we'll have April do the first one and maybe all of them. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're doing today. And I guess we only have two more years of giving her weekly injections. Yeah, 104 more to go. 103 more after today. Well then that's the minimum. Minimum. <laughs> I have a friend that was on the same drug for seven years. Like, I yeah. just can't, I just can't handle that. Although, in compared to what we've been doing... The doctor did say the more aggressive you are right now, the better chance it has to go into remission and just, like, go away. I know. She's she'll, seen it She'll thank before. us when we're... She's an adult, maybe? I think she will. Especially if she still has her eyesight, she'll thank if us. If she can still see, yeah. Uh, if she can still walk and see, then I think she'll thank but us. But, I mean, this will be... I'm guessing this should be easier than... Um, giving twice her a twice a day you know she didn't mind taking that but just remembering to i can't believe how cheap this prescription was yeah, for why, five weeks worth of prescription it was ten dollars why is it so cheap that's <laughs> not, no insurance that's just straight up no not month. not methotrexate or uh, naproxen naproxen but then we were giving her eye drops for a while five times a day oh, man, so um yes yeah, so we're just gearing up head over to the hospital feeding this little guy he's on the mend his little voice is still gone it's feels like it's sounds like it's kind of starting to get back how did he sleep last night oh there was a rough couple hours where i like was just so up all night like hours of just like please go to bed <laughs> he did i think he slept at all just barely making him cry because his little voice is so I know, sad. I'm so sad. So April, I feel like I'm making some bad habits right now because I used to just be like, well, in five minutes I'll come check on you, and he would just soothe himself. Yeah, For the last he's couple good days, at I've been himself. like, no, he's sick. I have to hold him. <laughs> I've held him like but more than I ever have. He did sleep a lot, just barely. April went and got her nails done, and he slept the whole time while she was gone. So he's yeah, getting enough sleep. But uh, we would just rather him do it at night, obviously. So. Well, when babies are sick, things kind of get out of whack for a while. When he gets better, I'll worry about it again, and it'll be fine. I think he's trying his hand at the baba. Yeah, he's, today. he's I didn't hit do or it miss. for a few days because he was so sick, and then I was like, you know what? If I don't, then he's going to digress, so, or regress. I digress. Regress. Yeah. He's hit or miss. Sometimes he loves it. Sometimes he doesn't really like it. But. All eating in general is kind of hard for him right now because he is congested. congested we're trying to keep him uh his nasal i was passages. wondering if this would be easier than breastfeeding because there's a really fast letdown when he's breastfeeding so i thought maybe the bottle will be good but he doesn't seem he it's drank like an ounce yeah he did like an ounce thing. straight but oh 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 he's just oh, kind of struggling oh, right now but we're gonna go to the hospital a little bit so someone on my instagram suggested this and i absolutely loved love loved the idea it's called Bra beads of bravery there's an instagram page I didn't actually get them from Beads of Bravery, but I followed the page because I love what they're doing and how amazing this idea is. So Evie has a total of, sorry, lighten this up a little bit. She has a total of a hundred or two, um, let's see, 104 shots as of right now that she's gonna have to get. And I thought, how cool if we get some of these glass beads from Amazon. That's where I bought them. Let me show you guys. And I'm going to let her pick one every time she gets a shot. 
And then by the end of it, she'll have a really long string of beads, bravery beads, to show how brave she was. <laughs> so I can oh, get the... Look at you being prepared for something. <sighs> so look at all these beads. There's over 104 in here. I made sure that I got a pack big enough. But she can pick. Look how cute this one is. Oh, it even matches my nails, kind of. Love it. So I'm gonna let her pick. I'm gonna only show her a few today and let her pick a bead and then she can kind of get excited for next week if she sees something else that she really likes. So I'm gonna keep this little handful of beads with me today and let her, maybe less than that, maybe I'll only have, maybe I'll do like those ones. And then I bought like a little kit for jewelry making wow. and I thought, we could just stick her little bravery bead on this elastic -y thing. So there you go. There you have it. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Let's do it. These are bravery beads. You like them? What did you just ask? Don't put it in your ear or your nose or any of your orifices. Man. I can put it in my ears. No, it'll get stuck. Don't put things in your ears. And then you'll have to go to the hospital and get another bravery bead to get out. <laughs> I'm not giving you bravery beads if you're sticking things up your nose and ears. Come up on the table. You can keep watching the phone. Go up here. Okay. Now keep watching. Keep watching the phone. We just got out of there. EB freaked out, but it wasn't because it hurt. She just, and it's like the nurse said, it was just, yeah, she's finding it, EB. It was just the idea of getting a shot. She got super mad at, so we had to kind of lay her down and just give it to her, but she didn't cry from it being, from it hurting her. So that's good to know. It's just gonna be her getting used to it and not getting angry at it. But we found out she also needs folic acid to help her um, not be nauseous from the medicine. But you can find that in, um, it was cute. She was freaking out and we were like holding her down and she was like, my bravery bead, I need my bravery bead. And we handed it to her and she did okay. So that was a, that was really cute. Let's see. Uh, do I have it? Or did she keep it? She might have lost her bravery bead, April. You lost your bravery bead? Wait, I got it. Daddy's got it. Yeah, it so cute. Bravery. She's like, my bravery bead! And that got her as through. As soon as the, like, she didn't even notice the poke, I don't think. She didn't, yeah, it wasn't a painful poke, so that's reassuring. She so. didn't scream any differently from when we just started holding her to where I was, like, poking her to when it was done, and then as soon as we let go of her, she was She fine. was done. It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't painful. Yes, here it is. I found it. Evie, so did the poke hurt? Didn't hurt, right? Did the poke hurt, Evie? Maybe she does. Did the poke hurt? Didn't even hurt. hurt. That's good. There's so many we don't get to pick any out yet until you're brave next time. There's a lot. Got some new tennis shoes for, I don't know, whatever. Aren't they cute? Yeah. We're kicking these kids' pants. Kicking the pants. 
kicking the pants. Oh, you're a cute guys. today. Can I Evie eat? got her first okay. methotrexate injection today in her belly. It didn't even hurt her. She so got a shot. Huh, Evie? You got a poke today, huh? Okay, guys, we're going to end the vlog now. Um, Evie is doing one exchange on her bravery bead, her first bravery bead. She says, I actually don't want this one, but I thought this one's very special because it's the one you I don't want it. Okay. She'll be back for it. There's so many choices. <gasps> well, hurry, you have 10 seconds to pick. 10. Hey, nine. I want to hate. But we'll keep you updated on how's it, how, how it's going with EB and her injections. And it's nice we only have to do it once a week for two years minimum. But do what you got to do, right? Everybody's got their stuff. So. Thanks for watching. Find good in everything. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.